farmer. Come on. No, no, no. Where did that farmer go? Help. It's nighttime. Uh... Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Craft Away with me, Bully Bait. There's Mario, still there. I said I'd leave him for a while, and I think I'm gonna. We might even move him to a different part of the base once we get a little bit more constructed. Um, make him a permanent feature somewhere. Uh, but this is our giant cobblestone uh, villager breeder and iron farm. Uh, I think it's almost 100% functioning minus the fact that we haven't got any villagers in there yet so let's go ahead and check it out it's basically the same thing as what is in spawn town uh, but a little bit bigger and it is lined up to the chunks and uses the maximum size uh, that the chunks will allow I'm not sure if that actually means anything because uh, it could have no effect on uh, how many villagers are produced because there might be a maximum number of villagers that I am I don't know about right now but um, it uses a full set of doors that runs along the whole side here um, we'll use main farming villagers that will sit in this area right here and they will toss carrots down uh, to villagers that are in a lower section down here now let's see if we can't get in there fairly easy let's just hop around this side um, yeah we'll just drop down drop down right here this will be fine um, so then there'll be a second set of villagers that are sitting right down here let's go ahead and patch this hole uh, right here so there'll be a second set of villagers down here that will be collecting carrots from the villager, the farmer villagers that are up there. These ones don't have to be farmers, but those ones do. Um, and then the babies will run off this edge. I still have to put trap doors along the inside of here. But the babies will run off of the edge here and fall down um, into this area where they will either fall down here and flood this way and flow down this path to the end of here where they'll drop down and eventually there'll be a water bucket at the end of this we can actually put that in there right now and that will flow all the way to here where the baby villagers will drop out eventually what we'll do is we'll have this um, come down a tube and then head that direction And uh, it'll leave the loaded area. What I wanted to do right now was actually go ahead and let's fill up these buckets. And get rid of this water source. Um, now the iron golems will spawn here. We have a uh, water elevator right here now. I'm going to use that instead. That brings us up to here, which is where the villagers are going to come to. And as you can see, we got a uh, whole path laid out that runs all the way over to the village. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and move the villagers over to here. But the iron golems, uh, they should spawn in this area here, which flows to the middle and then falls down. And there's lava down there with hoppers, um, with hoppers to chests for uh, at least just our beginning amount of storage just for this farm. Um, eventually this is gonna go to somewhere else, but for now, this is pretty good. Um, yeah, I think we're ready to, uh, to bring the villagers into the farm. All right, so how this tunnel-y thing works is we find our villager, we move him 
from here down this tube pushing him with water buckets all the way down the row all the way into the farm once it gets into the farm he basically just goes to where he needs to go so first thing we need to do is find farmer villagers now i think there's a villager in here are you a farmer you're a leather worker all right so we'll just leave you there for right now um is there a villager in the blacksmith something blocked off in here Oh, it's not blacked off. It's the, this is the chunk, the, my chunk line. All right, let's just close that up. And all right, so I'm gonna find some villagers. We'll get them hooked up and we'll get them sent down the way. Look, there's a bunch of villagers in, in there. And I thought I saw a bunch inside the church as well. Yep, there is. All right, so let's just take out part of this area here. And, um, just use some nether rack to get rid of this water. And here and there and there and there. Eventually, we're going to have to destroy this village and just tear it all down. Um, but for now, let's get, uh, let's just try to get the villagers out of here. And we'll just put down a tube all the way over to these houses here. So that the, the villagers can't get out or go anywhere crazy. Hopefully we have enough nether rack. Um, all right, we're at the first doorway here, so let's go ahead and um, make sure that they can't go anywhere other than where we want them to go. And then we'll get rid of this sand. All right, so you're a fisherman, which is a brown coat. A fisherman is a brown coat, so that's useful. You're a Fletcher, that's also a brown coat, and you're a cartographer. These guys can all head out this way now. Just gonna wait for them to go that direction. Uh, let's go ahead and just tear out this wall, push him that way. There, now you can't go any direction. Oh no, they got out. Oh, that's terrible. All right. Um, oh no, all right. Let's see if we can't push them back into the tube. Come on, come on, come on. No! Farmer. Come on. No, no, no. Where did that farmer go? Help. It's nighttime. Uh, okay, these guys want to be in this house. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, great. I didn't bring a bed with me. Why didn't I bring a bed with me? Uh, where? Okay, right here. So if I go pop, pop. Now you guys can come in and fall down inside the tube. Maybe. Or I could just, yeah. Okay, that's fine. All right, all right, okay, 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 okay. So. We were attacked by zombies. I think we lost a couple, but it's not terrible. 
it could be it could be worse whoa 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 oh here there he is come on you'll love it here let's break this door then they won't think this is a house did you really how there We're just going to take these two, and we're going to move them all the way there. Let's grab a few more. I don't want to make the trip all for two villagers. Okay, we'll just add some more to the tube, just like so. And then add some to the tube this way. Here's the door, so we'll just block this off like this. Break these two sandstone blocks. Some terracotta here. Uh, or maybe that's sand. Sand? Yeah, it's sand. Hello, villagers. All right, just moving these guys. Here we go. Whoop! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, I've gathered up a fairly decent group. We got three there, and three here. Uh, let's go ahead and bring all of these guys down. And you can just slowly push them right along if you just move the water bucket over and they can't get out. Oop. Unless you do that, then they can get out. I just saw love hearts. I don't know if you guys saw that. I definitely saw love hearts, which means we're getting in, in range of the village and they believe that there are more doors now. They also might be throwing around some food. Which is interesting. But once they get real, yeah, you can see them, they're throwing around some bread. Check that out. Look at it go. Oh, they're getting ready to breed already. You got to get them in there. Slime. It means we're going to be able to build a slime farm. That's great. I love that. Did they run that way? All right, let's put up a wall here so they can't get back. All right, just a little bit more, little ways left to go. Are they starting to head that direction? Yeah, they are. Yep, they're starting to run towards the village. That's awesome, that's great. As you get closer to the village, they will like eventually start running at it. Um, I put a block up so that they can't actually get in there yet. I want to separate them and bring them up the two one at a time. Um, come on, keep going. A little ways left to go. This might be all the villagers we need for this village, by the way. Uh, once they start breeding and stuff, it, uh, villager breeding in bedrock is ridiculous. So they will breed up real quick. Around the corner, everybody.
Why can't I pick that? A waterlogged uh, vine, I guess. Wait a minute. You can waterlog a vine? You can waterlog vines. That's crazy. Look at that. You can waterlog. Insane. I wonder if they still grow. I wish I had a trap door. Um, it's okay. We can. The next one. He's getting away. Where'd he go? He was a librarian or cartographer. Oh, look, they're breeding. We're getting baby villagers. All right, that's cool. So now you are a shepherd, so you will farm. Fisherman, you're going to be a farmer. Right. And in you go. Oh my goodness, these guys are just gonna breed up a storm. All right. Um Okay, so I got three of the farmer villagers up here right now. Um, in the second spot down, there are a few villagers, including some baby villagers, which have started to pop out already. Um, I had some holes I had to fix. Oh, man. And you missed that. No! Yep. I hit the ground too hard. I fell off my la I couldn't get on that ladder. Now I gotta climb down it. That's not the scariest thing. Here it is. Yay, all my stuff. All right, got all my stuff back. Okay, so deaths aside, we have all of our villagers in here. Um, down here are a bunch of baby villagers that uh, bred up while we were waiting. Oh, look, they're growing up already. Awesome. So they're going to go up this um, water, water elevator as soon as they grow up. They'll go up and then they'll go inside the village. Um, I have a Fletcher saved in a group back here all by himself because he has to go in with the uh, farmer area but when these guys grow up and go up there they will be our seed villagers um, as you can see there are a couple baby villagers running around out here I had to put a plug in um, down here but what we're gonna get started on next is um, sending our villagers outside of the loaded uh, loaded chunk distance from our AFK area. And there they go. There, I just wanted to get this thing primed so that, um, so that the villagers will start, uh, yeah, like these guys. I do a, yeah, you're a Fletcher. I should get you and put you in the top part. Oh, well. Um, all right, so let's start collecting up our, getting a spot for our collected villagers. Um, they, are, they should be right inside there. We need to actually, before we do this, I need to finish this part. We need to put in all the trap doors so that they will fall down into the collection area. Otherwise, they're just going to sit there and it's going to overbreed. 
until it stops. So I think I have trap doors. I have wood here. That's enough. We'll just grab some wood and use this um, to make some trap doors. That was not enough. That is enough to make one stack. Okay, guys, so we got a whole bunch done now. I got a whole bunch of my villagers in here. We've done a little bit more work off camera. So all of our villagers have now grown up and have gone up the tube and are now in the, um, are now in the area where the seed villagers are. So if we go up here and we look down, you're going to see a whole bunch of villagers down there. Uh, what we're gonna do is actually try to put a block there. Yep, okay. And we're gonna block this back off, or unblock this, so that the villagers can get down in here again. And we have one more villager to move, and that is our, um, last farmer villager. So let's just go ahead and break out this area here. I should let him through, and he's just probably going to run right into that village. There he goes. He's going to run right up to the water, because he doesn't know what to do. We push him in. He'll float all the way to the top. We're pass him in the elevator. And then we'll hop out here. I'll be able to see him come up in a minute. There he is. He goes right in here. And he'll run right in and start harvesting. Throwing out food. Trying to get that breeding going. Um, so we're all set, I think. I think all this is done. Um, something I want to do is get these seed villagers out of the wall. Um, first thing, let's pick up our water bucket. It's up here. Being a pain in the butt. Alright, now let's get rid of this block. Um, if I put my water bucket, can I place it on the block? How about if I drop it down in here? Now can I place it on the block? I can. Everybody out. Oh, that doesn't, that didn't work because there's a trap door right here. Let's break this trap door. Go that way, go that way, out of the water stream, everybody out of the water stream, come on, go, out, out, and there, at least now they can't get back up here. So once they get out of the way here, a little bit out of the way. Everybody out of the way. <laughs> Move! Would you? Get out of here. Oh, look at that. We got it in. Okay, next is to swap out this slab for cobblestone block. Perfect. Done. Locked in. Everybody's in there. They're in where they belong. People are doing the breedy thing. Go ahead and block that up in case we need it again. And guys are trading carrots. That's good. Okay, so where to move our villagers? Now we have to move them to at least five chunks beyond, four chunks beyond the loaded system. So we're going to put them in the fifth chunk outside of our 
our loaded area here. So as you can see, we got one, two, three, four, just like that. We're going to do that again, but over here. We're going to pick this all back up in the next episode. So I'll see you guys there. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys next time. Bye.